Well, on the previous slide, we had derived that uh, the population mu, which is the expected value of x, is n times p. And that's a measure of symmetry of the binomial distribution. In an equally pleasant derivation, the population variance turns out to be n p times 1 minus p. The population skewness is the expected value of the third standardized moment and that is 1 minus 2p over the square root of np times 1 minus p and the kurtosis turns out to be this expression. Now one question is what do these converge to as n goes to infinity? Well you can see the mean and the variance are both marching off to infinity but it turns out that the skewness as n goes to infinity is converging to zero. So that tells us as n gets larger and larger, regardless of the value of p, we are approaching a symmetric distribution. Interesting piece of information. Second one, the population kurtosis, that is the expected value of x minus mu over sigma raised to the fourth power as n goes to infinity, this term right here vanishes for all p between 0 and 1, and you're left with a kurtosis of 3. Now in the literary world, this is kind of known as foreshadowing, but it turns out that that 3 happens to be the kurtosis for a normal random variable. The bell-shaped normal distribution has a kurtosis of 3, and as you'll see a little bit later, based on the fact that the bell shape is symmetric and that's the uh, zero here for the skewness the binomial distribution in the limit as n goes to infinity is approaching a normal random variable even though one is discrete and the other is continuous you still have that relationship between the two finally the moment generating function uh, without the derivation of course turns out to be this for all t values between negative infinity and infinity.